Hello, Oboophiles! Today, on this Technic Tuesday, we're talking about the low notes of the oboe, why they might not be working, and how to get clean attacks on these low notes. As always, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell below, and give me a like to help grow this channel. Let's get into it. <laughs> So the low notes are where most people uh, kind of cut off the range of the oboe. The real range of the oboe is all the way down to B flat, and we want to make sure that we have functionality on all of those notes, especially in the chromatic scale or if we're starting a phrase on those low notes kind of context. <laughs> the oboe should be just as flexible as the middle range or the high range and you know it should be just as responsive so sometimes it's not though I find that I get to a lesson and a lot of students are really struggling with the note, low notes and usually the solution is in one of three things right it's either the way that you're preparing the air is just not adequate for the low notes it could be an adjustment thing uh, the oboe is not well an adjustment it's not sealing correctly and there's a leak somewhere or it could of course be the reed so let's talk about the reeds first. What does a reed need to have good low note response? Well, whenever you're finding a reed that has low notes response, first just try, try it on a oboe that you know works. Maybe you borrow your teacher's oboe or a friend's oboe that's definitely working. And you should be able to just start on these low notes without so much uh, like kerfuffle at the beginning. What do I mean by kerfuffle? Well, here's what I mean. A lot of times you might hear people start low notes like this. and then the low note would start. So it's like a lot of air streaming through and then low note. Instead, you wanna just have the low note respond by the release of the tongue. Reliable, not <laughs> stress causing at all. So where are the low notes found on the reed? Well, they're found kind of in the tip, specifically in between the tip and the heart, kind of that transition between. And I'll have some close-ups here in a second of the profile of the reed um, in diagram form, kind of a picture, and then also on the reeds themselves. So we want to make sure that we have kind of like this sloping or curvature. And experimenting with that curvature will give you the low note response. Now that area is also responsible for a lot of the like warmth of the reed. So if we scrape too much out of there, you'll have low note response, but the reed will sound really honky. So just like everything in life and everything in reed making, it's all about balance. And of course, having a sharp knife. So, the next thing, adjustments. The main adjustment that I find is off, or the main couple, are the screw right here that controls the B flat to C. That's the second from the top, I guess, right below the A. And that's the same on most conservatory style oboes, definitely for Lorrays. I think Marigot might have an extra uh, screw for adjustment there, but it's the one that's right uh, below the A when we're looking at it this way, right to the right of it, I guess. Um, and it's kind of paired. Uh, the other one that might be off is the F sharp to G sharp. And lastly, but hopefully not the case, it could be the one that controls the E and D. Um, it, the E, when you press it, it kind of makes this auxiliary key go down, and sometimes that one is leaking uh, on oboes that I find when my students have trouble with their low notes. If you need help with these adjustments, I have a guide uh, that I'll link to in the description below that is specifically for those three adjustments. And of course, if you're looking for a more thorough guide, there are books uh, that I love to recommend. The Oboe Doctor is one that I use by Schifferdink, um, and that one covers a di couple different kinds of oboes and just all the adjustments. And the other one is the Oboe Revealed. Um, and I'm not sure... If you know who wrote that one, leave it in the description below. I think it might be uh, something with an S. Swinicky or something? Um, but those are great books as well. I'll have those in the description. Uh, so you can check those out. Okay, so adjustments on the Oboe. Make sure that you have a screwdriver. If you're past, like, 7th grade on the Oboe, you definitely need to have your own screwdriver. Just go to the hardware store. You don't need anything special for the Oboe. Just a little screwdriver. 
Um, I actually took out all the tips that don't uh, correspond to the oboe because it's just my oboe screwdriver and it goes in with a little magnet and then the top spins uh, which makes it really easy to screw stuff in. So, you know, just go to the hardware store. Um, I'll actually have this link in the description below too, so if you want to buy it online instead, you totally can. It's 2020, Happy New Year, and yeah, the future is now. Buy stuff online. Okay, so, uh, adjustments, done. Let's assume that the oboe is well adjusted, your reed is working, why aren't the low notes working, and what can you do to get better at them? Well, first things to check out is your embouchure. I would recommend doing some read alone exercises and just seeing if you can match um, a C, B natural, and B flat, and maybe even an A flat. Hanging out there on the low part of the read alone exercises allows you to kind of experiment what muscles need to be in place to be really pushing the top lip out and giving yourself the most uh, control over the read at the tip of the read. The trick is to be on the tip of the read and not be gripping onto the read. You need to kind of uh, just benevolently grasp it, right? Just like barely touching the blades of the read to allow them to vibrate. And doing the read alone exercises on A flat uh, will help. I actually have a video linked up here in the corners and in the description where Dr. Parker from UT, University of Texas in Austin, uh, teaches these exercises. So if you want to check that out, that's a really good exercise to really get control over the read and get those low notes to sound good. Once you've practiced that, you want to try it on the oboe as well. And I would recommend just doing them separate attacks with the metronome. So maybe put the metronome on a slow tempo. I'm going to try 60. And I'm going to try putting all these low notes on beat one twice in a row. One, two. attacks are a lot cleaner than the others. Um, I think that's a really good exercise to practice daily, especially if you're starting with the low notes. I honestly don't practice it as much as I should. Um, that was not as clean as I once had it. But I used to practice this daily and I think I'm going to revisit it now. So maybe in future videos, low notes should be better hopefully after I've practiced this exercise. But just having the metronome so you really know exactly where you mean to come in and not having so much prep before the note speaks is really important. Because when the conductor of the orchestra gives you a cue, boom, you want to be able to respond with sound that is beautiful right away and not have so much um, production happening before the sound is actually, it actually comes out. So again, like the beginning of Don Juan. Let it sing, you know, you don't want to have anything else in between. Okay, the last thing with the low notes is we want to be able to power uh, enough air through the instrument so that these low notes have a little bit of taffy in between. And that's really tough. Some things that can help with that is just to be really relaxed in the upper body and have all of the tension come from, or tension, I should say, like strength, come from the core. So all the strength come from the core and try to sing through these low notes. Just try a five note scale. Uh, it's like a tetrachord. And really just having the meat hang off the bones. And you can try to reverse order to kind of help you get into it. So something that can help with this 
and really singing through the oboe and really blossoming through the sound is to imagine the air just opening up ever so slightly to each note. And of course, try it in different keys, try it in different orders to help you out. So we're just going to do five note scale in C major and then C sharp major. want to experiment having the low notes be really creamy because if the low notes aren't really creamy it's really hard to make any other register in the oboe work. So the low notes is kind of the core fundamental of the oboe. So just a quick review on the low notes. If they're not working make sure that your reed is in adjustment scraping in the transition between the tip and the heart that the oboe is well adjusted and that your embouchure is constructed in a way that will allow the low notes to vibrate. And of course don't forget to hit the like button because that'll definitely help your low notes out. Just kidding, uh, but do it anyway, if you can help me out. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. If it is, don't forget to share it and subscribe below. And of course, when in doubt, play beautifully.